Welcome to lesson seven of the SwiftUI to-do list app. We're going to pick up where we left off before we get into things. Destroy that like button down below for the algorithm. Hit subscribe if you're still not subscribed and into iOS and watching along. Let's continue. So in this part, we're going to actually build out this kind of account UI. So we got a user created. We are signed in. But whenever we open the app, we actually get just this like random screen uh, where we just have a label. What we actually want to see is a tab bar at the bottom and a nice uh, you know profile title for the profile tab and to do list. Uh, title for the other tab as well as a plus button at the top where we're eventually going to show a new screen to add new to-do list items. So let's get to it. So in our main view, we currently are just showing this to-do list view. And instead of showing this, what I actually would want to show is a tab view. Let me just lowercase that I. And a tab view allows, as the name kind of implies, to show a tab bar for each of the views inside of it. So here we're going to have a to-do list view, and it's going to have a modifier called a tab item. And the tab item is simply going to have two things inside of it. It's going to have both a label uh, and a icon. So let me create this label here. And what I'm looking for is this one. So the first one will be home. And the system image uh, that we're going to use is house. Now, SF symbols is Apple's image icon library. So we're going to use those. You can, of course, use your own image as well. But we're going to use the ones provided by Apple since they are sufficient for our use case. Now, the other tab is going to be for our profile view with the title being profile and the image being person dot circle. Alrighty, so hit command B. And on the right hand side, we actually see a preview for the login screen, which is not ideal, but we'll just build and run this into a simulator. And we should hopefully start to see a tab bar at the bottom. Uh, if we don't see it for whatever reason, we probably screwed something up, but we actually do see it. So I see home here and profile. And actually, um, looks like the profile view that we created, the template gave us this hello world. So it is indeed changing. So cool, good deal. Let's jump into our to-do list view and let's start putting some stuff in here. So we want to have a navigation view in here so we can actually start to see a title. So we'll throw, throw a V stack. And we wanna see a title at the top left here that says uh, to-do list or some title more or less. And the way we get that to show up is by adding a navigation title modifier. I'm just gonna spell it correctly, unlike me, to this V stack in here. So I'm gonna do to-do list in my case. And actually we'll copy this exact same thing into the profile view. Everything in here right now is just a template and the difference is we'll just change the title that we see here to profile. So give that a build and run and you should see a nice title at the top for to-do list and we should see the same thing we switch to the profile tab and I'm just changing the light mode and dark mode here so y'all can see what the two variants look like. So the next thing that we want to do for our to-do list uh, view here, that particular tab, is show a plus button at the top right. And essentially, once the user clicks on that plus button, we want to show another uh, screen. And that other screen is going to be where the user can enter a title and select the due date for a new to-do list item. Now, to do uh, that actual, everything I described, basically show the, to the button at the top right, we're going to use something called a toolbar. And a toolbar, let's see if I can find it, this one here, we want to just create a button inside of this. Now the button is going to take a action and label. So the action, don't worry about this quite yet, uh, but for the label, we'll use an image with a system name. And this is going to be, I believe, plus is the icon I am going for, which will show a little plus icon at the top right that actually did indeed just show up there. So we're in pretty good shape. This is kind of the template for our logged in state. Before we wrap up this video, I will do two important things. Uh, the first one is we have a file for to-do list view, and uh, to-do list view view model, and we don't have anything in here. So I will at least stub this out so we have something to work with. 
So it's an observable object. We'll put an initializer on here and um, let's actually just copy this and let's create one for profile as well. So let's see here we have profile. I will toss this in here. It is going to be our profile view view model. And while we're doing this, we might as well see any other uh, files that are empty and take care of those. So here we have our new item view view model. So let's just add this in here as well. So new item view view model. And I believe that is, this is the last one actually here. This one is to do list item view view model. Um, it actually looks like we have a duplicate here. Let's see what the difference is. So this one is to do list item view. And this is a to-do list view item view model. So let's just add a comment since they're, since they're named so similarly so we don't screw them up. So this is going to be view model for uh, list of items view. We'll say primary tab. And let me copy this into this guy here. And let's just make sure we change the name here. So this file is called to-do list item view. So we're going to call this to-do list item to do list item view view model and this is view model for a single to do list single to do list item view each row in items list so i'm just adding comments here for myself and mainly because they're named so similarly that we don't want to screw them up now that we've got this created here, let's just um, hang on to them onto, on our actual Swift UI views since we are going to use them and then we can wrap up this video. So for our to-do list view, we can simply create here a state object. And this state object will be of type our to-do list view view model, which we basically just went and created. Um, so we should have that here. and. We're also going to want to pass something into this to-do list view, but let's let's uh, sidebar that for a quick moment, and let's also jump to our profile view. Let's see if I can find it. And in our profile view, we will also create the associated view model. Pretty simple: profile view view model. Make sure you hit Command B. Make sure everything is still building. Hopefully, no problems. We didn't do anything too crazy. And uh, yeah, let's uh, do one last thing and then I promise we'll wrap up in this video. And that last thing that we're gonna do is, I mentioned we wanna pass something into this to-do list view. Uh, if you recall, it's a to the to-do list view is what we use for our primary tab in our main view when we are in the signed in state. What we actually want to pass in to this view uh, is the user ID. And the reason we're gonna want to do this is because uh, the user ID is what we will use to listen in real time for to-do list items for a particular user. So we can basically just pass in viewmodel.currentUserID. The reason it's yelling at me is because in here we do need to just make sure we appropriately um, hang on to this. So here we will say self.userID is user ID. And up here I will just create private let user ID of type string. All right, so we're in pretty good shape. We want to also pass in a user ID here for our uh, preview content. And let's see if there's anything else we can clean up. Um, we can abstract this tab view if we want. We can create a function down here. We can annotate it at view builder and say this is account view and our account view here uh, is basically going to return some view and we can instead of making it a function make it a computed property just toss that in here and here we can say show the account view just like that if you build everything should be working perfectly fine. This just abstracts basically what we had in the body here to its own computed property. Um, we did mark it as a view builder as well, which allows us to basically do this. Let's give this a build and run, make sure everything is still uh, A-OK, -okay, and then we will wrap this video up and continue in lesson eight. All right, so we're looking pretty darn nifty. Everything is good. Plus button not working just quite yet, but we do have two tabs where we have some real estate on our screen now to build. I will see you in the next lesson where we'll continue building this. Hit that like button before clicking on over to the next part, and I'll catch you guys there.